Or what's your name? Matthew. Matthew and Matt. Matt. Wow, Matthew Matt. and Matt. My name's Joshua. Welcome to episode 12 of What the Bitcoin. We've got Blue ripping it every morning. Other places in the AM hours, but for now, episode 12, we're still here in the uh, Clear Lake, southeastern part of Houston. Steve, what do you got to say about Bitcoin? Man, uh, don't know a whole lot about Bitcoin. Do know that uh, it's on the rise. Tesla just tweeted saying you could buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. I believe you can actually buy a house now with Bitcoin. Uh, it's pretty kind of confusing. I wish they would lay it out a little bit better for the for the small guy necessarily. And uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes from here. And that's why I tap into the camera and bring in the, the knowledge to the world from society, Steve, yeah. is exactly what you just said, is that we've got people accepting it for houses. We've got Elon Musk accepting it for his Tesla. So there's progression, but that's still on the large side of the coin, the, 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 the rich, yeah. right? But we do have small level adoption on our scope, the, the, the layman per se, right? Everybody wants, I mean, even the small guy, we all want to buy low and sell high. I mean, that's the name of the game. If I can get the Bitcoin and sit on it, man, it progresses and, and you know, you buy ten thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin next year, it's twenty K, then hey, that's yeah. A lot of people are interested in that, so very good. But like I said, the small man, including me, is very uneducated about the Bitcoin. Yeah. So it's just a it's a different certain simple man to grasp the fact that it's a token and all that. There needs to be Hey, if I can say if I can say one thing, Steve you're playing possum a little bit, and I say that, and you actually know a lot more than you're leading on. Well, it means that you want to learn more. Yeah. Well, I'm just repeating what I heard, and a lot of times. That's how you learn. If you don't, if I don't know 100%, I don't want to put my name on it saying that I know what I'm talking about. I just repeat what I heard. And what's your name? Matthew. Matthew and... Matt. Matt. Wow, Matthew Matt. and Matt. My name's yeah. Joshua. Very nice to get you guys' acquaintance this morning. And beautiful truck here. How long have you had it, Matt? Oh, uh, probably five years. Five years, okay. And then, uh, Matthew, you've been riding with him for that many years as well, or? Oh, uh, he's known me since I was five. I'm, I'm his brother-in-law. Oh, my goodness. Well, I got to say, I can appreciate the operation. We got a, a wood saw in the back. We, we're picking up water for the saltwater tank, to my understanding. Is that right? Yeah. Awesome. Well, what do you guys think about Bitcoin? Thing with it yet. I've got a couple friends that are doing stuff with it. Oh no. No? Did you guys uh, when did you guys hear about it? Stocks. The... I do stocks. Go fancy yeah. The uh stocks. The uh Bitcoin stock, but it really hadn't been doing much since the moving a whole lot. Oh you have the Bitcoin stock on the the uh is it on the trade on the New York Stock Exchange? Correct. Okay, and how long have you owned that? I owned some for a little while, but I think I've sold it off since then. I don't have any current. It hasn't done any for it, and it didn't do anything for you? No. Nope. What helps you identify a good investment, Matt? Usually a lot of times it's the name and the advertisement and then the hype up before something comes out. That's how it works. Okay, I see. And then uh, how long have you known about Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market? Probably five or six years. Five or six years. And did you ever dabble in it? No. no. Know anybody that owns Bitcoin or any currencies? Uh, I'm not sure if they do or not. Okay. And then, Matt, do you think there's any chance that Bitcoin and the way it's disrupting the financial market is influenced by God in any way? No. No? Not, not even remotely? No. It's opening perceptions for a lot of people on, on money. No. Do me a favor and like, comment. Hey, can you say that for me? Would that be okay, man? If you guys don't mind, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, the, uh, I think it's all influenced by the freaking government. I think the government doesn't want it, so it, not, they won't let it grow. Do you think that, Matthew, as well about Bitcoin, it's influenced by the government? Definitely. Okay, so you guys think it's kind of a scam then, maybe? Or do you think it's a good investment still? Well, I don't think the government doesn't like it because the they government doesn't want it. it. The government doesn't want it. So it's not going to be yeah. they're not ever going to get to grow it however they wanted to originally do it. Yeah, they're not gonna let, they'll let trading go on, but they're not gonna accept it as a major currency. The only thing they want is freaking U.S. currency, just the same thing as oil. Yeah. 
and they just want to be able they to wanna, they want to be able to control it all and do it and if they can't control it then they're not going to want to let it have it do it so you're not going to be able to it's going to be harder to trade yeah people are still going to trade it and some people are still going to accept it and do it but it'll never go major yeah and how long do you think that you that the united states dollar has been that way do you think it's just always been that way always. since the beginning well, if they can't get their greedy paws on it, then they don't want nothing to do with it. They can't make money on it. Yeah. So what do you think the future of Bitcoin looks like, Matt? And then I'll let you get back to your salt water here. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it'll grow. I don't think it'll ever... I think where it's at is probably how it'll go, unless something changes in laws and regulations and all that other crap to let it go bigger. Yeah. you got a huge tank, right? How many gallons is it? 250 gallons. 250 gallons. What's your oldest fish? Uh, about nine months old. Hey, Suzanne. Uh, good morning. And uh, we're joined with Luna as well. Good morning. Hey, so this morning, I'd like to ask you a couple questions about Bitcoin. What do you think about Bitcoin, Suzanne? I don't know much about it. You don't know much about it, but you've heard of it. I certainly have heard of it, yeah. How long ago did you first hear it for the first time? Oh, I listened to NPR, so probably a years, not more. Do they frequent that on NPR? Um, they basically just talk about, you know, I listen to the money show. Yeah. And he'll talk about people buying it, losing money on it getting money on it. Okay, so they, they talk about both sides of the coin. Yeah. And I would imagine the NPR would not objectively try and speak it into any corner. They're just trying to look at it for what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's hard for, even for me to understand what it is because I'm so used to dollars. Yeah, and it, it is just a new emerging financial market yeah. that is just beginning to find its legs, yeah. right? Hi. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good, how are y'all? Doing well, just filming a little documentary. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about Bitcoin I can ask you real quick? About what? Bitcoin. Other than I don't know anything about it. Can I ask your name real quick? Mike, what do you think about Bitcoin? Well, I know very little about it, other than I think it's a huge speculation. So a, a, a speculation in terms of just a bit risky, or do you think it's a total scam? Uh, combination. A combination of the two. Yeah. And if you had to say a scam, what kind of scam do you think it would be? We've seen a few in society. A Trojan horse, we've seen pyramid scheme scams. More like a pyramid scheme in my mind. Okay. How long have you had that viewpoint? Since it started skyrocketing the last few months. Okay. Well, hey, uh, I gotta say, do you have any plans to, to purchase ever? No. Nope. Okay. And then what do you think the future looks like for Bitcoin? I have no idea. No idea. Hey, Mike, enjoy the rest of your walk. I thank you for the uh, improv, too. Hey, Suzanne, real quick, just on a parting note, do you have any plans to purchase Bitcoin? No, I don't. Okay, and then... I think it's probably an age-related thing, you know? Yeah, it is. Well, it's very new. Do you think that there's any chance that the new Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology is influenced by God in any way? Um, I, I have no idea about that, really. I wish I knew what God was influencing. Of course, and w but what I mean to say is that the perceptions that it's waking up within, w within us all to look at the monetary system for the first time in over 200 years. I think it's always a good idea to look at the monetary system, absolutely, and whatever can lead us in that direction is a good idea. So the perceptions that are being opened because of that would be a positive for you? Absolutely. Okay. Look at everything. Nothing for granted. Yes, ma'am. And Suzanne, do you think moving forward, we just asked Mike, he said it's more of a scam. What Do you have an uh, opinion on the side of the coin there? I, I, I don't think it's a scam. Okay. You know, I think it's developing. Yeah. People are looking for alternative anything. You know, it's, anything's going to be better than, I think, straight ahead capitalism. But, uh, I'm interested in finding out a little bit more about it. And, uh, I mean, I definitely want to do, I want to gamble online overseas. And if my bank won't let me do it, so they want me to go to Coinbase and buy Bitcoin so I can do sports betting online. I ain't figured out how to do it. Once I do, I'll be a rich man. If you're betting on a, on a sports arena thing, yeah. then so be it. I mean, it's legal in the U.S., just not in certain states, which is stupid in my opinion. And then also, too, uh, I think Bitcoin is a privacy thing. Like, people don't know what necessarily you're spending that Bitcoin on. I don't need my bank all up in my information. Yeah. 
Democrats already trying to take all the privacy, guns, all that shit away. So I kind of like the fact that it's it's private. Yeah. Nobody needs to know. I spend my money yeah. the way that I want. And that's what brings me to ask my next question. Do you think there's any chance, Steve, that Bitcoin and the way that it's influencing society is God in any way? No, no. And I don't mean that he's taking physical form, Steve. Yeah, yeah. I mean the perceptions that are being opened by society. Nah, I think uh, you're digging a little too far. I mean... I'm not digging. Yeah, but you see what I'm saying. I just... I'm asking a question. Yeah, yeah, I got you on that. No, I don't think in any way that it's, it's second God in any form, that, that spiritually, physically. Just... It's not God taking form of Bitcoin. It's, it's that God may be had somebody come up with the idea of Bitcoin to start yeah. changing society, as is God taking over Michelangelo before he made a beautiful piece yeah, of artwork. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So, yeah, maybe somebody, you know, he did put that in somebody's head to bring us all together to one universal currency, which, in my opinion, would be awesome, but there's a lot of factors, a lot of different countries. Uh, big fan of universal currency would be awesome. Universal health care to yeah. a minimum yeah. would be awesome. Okay. So uh, Definitely. So you think Bitcoin's a good thing positively for society? I do. And yeah. At the end of the day, I mean, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah. I mean, I, all I see is good from it. Hey, it's a private currency. It, it's about your privacy. You can buy a house with it. You can buy a car with it. Yeah. I can buy stuff online. I can do, I can do what I yeah. want. With what? I, with my yeah. money. I don't yeah. have anyone so, else to tell me what to do with my money. So I like the fact, yeah. fact right there. So to your opinion, you have to pull out a magnifying glass to start finding negative things to, to really even focus yeah, on. Of course, you would have to find a, something that somebody did or sex trafficking. Some people are buying drugs with Bitcoin, but they're doing that with cold hard cash. Didn't get my hair cut. As you can see, I still got to get my hair cut. Didn't get my hair. I'm gonna edit this stuff out for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, lock the doors. You know, don't tempt people. Share this with everybody. I look forward to bringing you guys episode 13 tomorrow. Over and out.